you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over how to make coins using the Steam Time promo. Now, the way this works is pretty much just looking through the sets and understanding values of cards and understanding player hype. It's pretty simple. It shouldn't be too hard to go over, but I'm going to be going over. I'm going to show you guys some examples throughout the sets, guys. But before we get into this video, if you're into the channel, smash the sub button, guys. We're growing a little slower as, you know, obviously the first week or two of Madden hype is starting to go down. But we're still growing consistently, so guys, let's keep that pace going. I might be dropping like four videos today. I have two already up. I have three. The third one set to post today. I have a fourth and a fifth, but I might save the fifth one for tomorrow because I don't want to overdo it today. Obviously, in case things are a little drier tomorrow, I'll have some content for tomorrow. But I think tomorrow's Legend Saturday, so shouldn't have an issue content-wise. But, you know, just in case, I'm going to try to save it to a minimum of maybe four a day. Because if I do five, sometimes it might be overkill. All depends on how the day's going, but guys... Make sure to turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, especially content videos and coin, uh, set coin videos, things that are time sensitive that you want to know right when they get posted. So turn on that noti bell to get notified so you won't miss a beat on anything. Also, comment down below what you guys think of these themed diamonds and also if you guys already made coins doing this because I imagine plenty of you guys are already on this. And let's get 300 likes in this video. You guys have been smashing the like button. I have no, no concern about you guys smashing that. So let's get into this video, guys. So let me show you guys what I've been selling. So as you guys can see, Auction sold Dwayne Allen 3000, Hunter Henry, Darby. You see the you see like 3k for, for cheap golds. So right now, guys, gold players, crazy, crazy expensive. Which leads me to multiple things you can be doing right now. So I'm gonna start with one. Come over to sets. Theme builders. Theme diamonds. So if you go over to um, for one example that I know is the dolphins. So obviously to complete these sets, you guys need the players that are specific to the set. So these make these players very valuable because the only way you can get Kurt Warner 93 is if you complete every single one. So obviously every card that are in these sets have value. So for example, Kenyon Drake, he goes for 33K. So if you have a Kenyon Drake or maybe two of them, that's 66 character. If you have one that's 33K, is Kenyon Drake worth that? No, but he has a value placed on his head because of what the sets require to be finished right now. So this is why you guys have to be on top of your goal players. So that's just one example. I just sold Dwayne Allen for like, what was it, like 4K? He goes for about, yeah, 4 to 5K. So let's say you have like 10 golds, right? And they're over 4K, that's 40K. If you have a binder full of golds, you haven't gotten rid of any, you could easily flip back like 100 to 300K right now worth of golds. And if you have a bunch of Kenyan Drakes, like 4 or 5, that's what, 5 times 30? It's 150K after reduction, you take that off, but you guys get the, you guys get the point. Now the Elise, Laramie Tunzel went for like 6K. You know, this, this Laramie Tunzel went for like 10K before, now he's 14K. If you have any players in these sets, I recommend selling them right now, especially off player hype, because obviously the way player hype works is that Christian McCaffrey, the limited time, came out, right? His power up beforehand went for like 5k. Christian McCaffrey got announced, his power up sold for 30k. The next day, 7k. So that is why I recommend highly that you guys sell right away, because if you guys wait, once people get exactly what they want, the hype starts coming down, supply starts coming back up again, the man goes down. You know, it's just kind of how that works. So let's go to Bears. This Eddie Jackson went for like 25k before, 30k. Is Eddie Jackson is 52k. You guys all know this Eddie Jackson not worth 52k. Kyle Fuller, what what overall is he? 83 overall. Okay, 26k is not that bad. Obviously, some elites won't change too much because there's already a lot on the block. Let's see. Let's see a gold. Let's see a Trey Burton. Probably go for like 2k, 3k. So everything went up a little bit. But remember, even though it only goes up a thousand, if you have 10 golds, that's an extra 10,000 coins made. Especially for you no money spent guys, it's definitely huge. Let's see Roquan Smith. 7 8k. And some of them are bangers. Like some might only be like three, four K, but some might be like 20, 30 K. Really all depends. Mitchell Trubisky. You know, it's funny. It won't even be the better gold cards. It'll be the rare ones that like you rarely ever see. Let's see Buster Screen or Screen, however you say his name. 3K. See if there's any bangers in this one. Kevin Pierre Lewis. One, okay, 1K. So obviously not all of them. So this is what you guys want to do. My personal recommendation. You don't have to look up by set, obviously. I mean, it'll be easy if you go through the set, see what you have there. But if you have, if you don't have that many goals or you have a ton of goals, it doesn't really matter. Go to item binder, go to quality, check out all your golds. Obviously, I don't have that many because I've done binder cleanups before. So I have this Dante Pettis right here. Click LB on, let's check the price. He goes for 3K. 77 overall, 3K. 3.5K. Not bad at all. I think my other card just sold, actually. Oh, Von Bell. Von Bell, 75 overall. 4K. Not bad. He was going 15K before. I missed that. I tried selling him, didn't make him time. Steven Nelson, 75 overall. I'll probably go for like a K or two. 2.4. Now, again, remember, even though it's only like a K or two per, if you have 100 gold cards and they all went up by 2,000 coins, not a lot, 
But if you have 100, that's 200,000 made. You subtract the 20, uh, the 10%, that's 20, 20,000 coins off. 180,000 coins can be made. Let's say these cards all went for 2K right before. You had 100, that, you had 100 of them. That's 200K. They go up by 2K. Now that's 400K. You have to take off the reduction because the reduction is going to be 20 to 40K off depending on how much you sell them for. But you could literally double your binder. So if your binder was worth like 200,000 coins before, it could be worth 400,000. Core elites are big in this too. So to come back to you, I'm going to show you guys a few core elites. Obviously not all of them went up because somehow they're a lot on the block. They won't, they won't change by much. But let's go Broncos. Von Miller probably won't change too much. Let's go to Kareem Jackson. 13K. Some of these cards might only went up by K. Some aren't going to be worth it. So make sure you check the reduction first because reduction could just kill the profit profit margin. Phil Lindsay, 15K. Going for that. But you guys, you guys are kind of understand the point. You got you to be, be wary of what you're looking for because obviously some of them might not have went up too much. It all depends on the set. Whoever had the most valuable cards. I'm not entirely sure who the most valuable one for most, in most people's eyes are. Let's go to the Ravens who has uh, McAllister. So let's say Tony Jefferson. Tony Jefferson, 12K. Okay, so I don't really know what you guys deem as the most valuable one. But whatever you guys need, whatever the most valuable one is known for, probably one of all. Lamar Jackson, he naturally goes for that price. Again, it's going to be those, it's going to be hard to show you guys directly which one I'm talking about. But the golds, that literally, that like, they just like, I don't know if you guys ever played Madden 13. Sorry to cut myself off there. But in Madden 13, there was always like those, um, the position hero sets and stuff. There was always that one silver, like that 71 overall silver on like the lines, the defensive end. That went for like 100K. It's kind of like that. Not as expensive because obviously... That was kind of absurd no one would buy it but it's definitely useful now one way to make coins right now also that i was talking with zerk about is you go to store gold player packs might not be a, that might be a bad idea right now i'll open up one for you guys to give you guys an idea you open up a gold player pack 5k if you pull an elite you always make your money back okay so let's say i pull a gold pull the gold there nick o'leary so i lost 5k but before gold player packs weren't that good because if you opened up 100 of them and you got back all golds on for 2k yeah you make 200k but you probably what you lost what 500k so it wasn't worth it before now let's see what nickel goes for again not every single one's going to show because not all of them went up because they have to be in the set but it, def it definitely makes them more valuable than they were just prior he goes for 2.8 probably could sell them for 3.1 so i only lost 2k on that pack i only lost 2k and i got a gold by pulling a gold so the worst thing you could probably pull is like a 2 3k gold which isn't that bad so not saying go buy get gold player packs but if you're a get a gold fiend and you love opening those now is the time to probably splurge on those because the prices have definitely went up on those so guys the consensus overall here is sell binder clean out now binder clean out right now because these are going to be the most valuable to get for a while until the next big position type of thing drops i think this is they dropped the 32 at once so that kind of covers that now if you go into solo challenge is another good way to make some coins i shouldn't say make some coins to improve your team would be come down to the theme diamond solos milestones one star nat gold just letting you guys know i pulled deandre hopkins out of this this is my nat deandre hopkins tier two Nat gold so now tier three three nat gold so you have a chance of five nat players there one of them could be an elite which you can also sell for training or you can put into a set whatever again the ways you do that is converted you put them in the exchange sets and you can turn them up into an actual player 70 nat core elite that could be a Khalil Mack. that could be a von miller that could be an aaron donald you never know might as well take the chance tier five is an 84 plus so that's an 84 plus elite it has to be it says gold note which is weird because it's an 84 plus it should have said elite but you can get platinum cards out of there there's a lot of things you can get out of there a really good really good right there to make some coins if it's a platinum card then you're kind of perfect because you can quick sell that for coins if it's not you have a nice elite in your team which should be a backup which you can put into an exchange set if it's an 84 you can put it into an 84 85 exchange set for an 86 not bad at all then more nat goals you get a total of one two three four five six seven plus two you get like nine to ten nat players here not bad at all plus you get the coins for the, um, the solo challenge which about fourteen thousand each you play the bonus you might actually end up coming out away with this for like 30k plus the nets not bad you can make a ton of coins in this promo guys so then you guys know a little quick tip here probably the third or fourth video you see for the day i'm not entirely sure i'm going to segment these guys but that's about it thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed the video i hope this helps you guys for people who aren't taking advantage of this you have to sell off hype you don't want to wait the more you wait the more things go down a lot of people forget to sell their cards off hype because they think they're going to go up more than not this is this is probably the peak right now i'd recommend you sell them guys thank you so much for watching Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on this channel. If you guys have, go down below, smash the sub button. We're going for 10k by the beginning of September. I think we can do it. I gotta take, I gotta capitalize on August, the first month of the game. I really do. So 10k by the beginning of August. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. Like just like this, time sensitive video, obviously. Comment down below how many coins you guys already made, because I know tons of people. Like I know Zerk's already made like 100, 200k just selling golds. So guys, comment down below what you guys are making off this. 
Comment down below if you got Kurt Warner yet, because I want to see who actually did Kurt Warner, because that is crazy. He goes for like 3.5 million coins right now. Will he sell for that? Probably not. But he goes for it. And also, make sure to like the video. Let's get this video to 300 likes. Smash that button, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.